Hello, I'm Alex, and welcome to this beginner lesson on spatial location. Big words, I know. Let's just write them here. Okay, so when we are referring to spatial location, we're referring to the position of something in space or in relation to something else. So you've seen my wonderful pictures, wonderful stick men up here and wonderful drawings of what I, well, what I say is a table, anyway. So let's look at them and talk about the spatial location or the relationship of the objects in the picture to one another. So here we have a table, we have a ball, and we have a mug, mug or cup, depending on your level of English at this point. So where would we say the ball is in relation to the table? Hmm. So these are some very basic English words that you'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis. If someone asks you, where are you, or where is my pen, or where are dad's keys, um, these are words that you will have to know. So here, if you look at the ball, it is covered by the table. Therefore, we say it is under the table. Okay? When something is on a flat surface or above something else, this mug, this cup, what we would say is on top of the table. On top of. Okay? We can draw a little arrow to show that it's on top. Okay? Now, here we have a boy and a girl going for a walk, maybe through the park, I'm not sure. But where is the boy in relation to the girl, and where is the girl in relation to the boy? Now, they are walking this way, okay? So if the boy, watch, he's walking this way, he looks this way, behind him is a girl, well I just gave you the answer. The girl is behind the boy. Okay, so I'm pointing to the girl. The girl is behind the boy. Okay, so let's write the word behind in here. Hmm. Okay, that'll do. How about the boy in relation to the girl? So again, the girl is behind the boy, just so we're not confused here. The girl is behind the boy. I am in front of the girl. In front of the girl. In front of. And for the sake of consistency, let's make that lowercase. There we go. Okay, now here we have another boy and girl. They are standing kind of in a neutral position next to one another. So we would say they are standing beside each other. Beside. Okay, so here we go. Beside. And we can do a graphical representation of showing an arrow. They are next to one another. So sometimes maybe if someone asks you, hey, where's the pepper or where's the salt? It's beside the pepper or beside the salt. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. And this one here, we have a picture of a house. By the looks of it, not a very expensive house. However, we have two people. We have someone inside the house, and we have someone outside the house. So this person is inside the house, inside, okay? And in relation to the house, this person is outside the house.
He looks very happy. Him, not so much. Okay, so here we have a happy family. We have, we'll say, a father and a mother and a child. We'll call the child David. I like that name. Okay, so the child is in the middle, okay? But we don't say the child is in the middle, the parents. We say the child is between the parents. So we can show that by having the arrows pointing to the middle. So the child is in between. You can actually just say between. You can say in between, or the child is in between the parents, or the child is between the parents. So this right here is, I would say, optional. Okay, so let's just go over them one more time. The mug is on top of the table, it is on a surface. The ball is under the table, it's covered by something. Okay? The girl, let's do that representation again. The girl is behind the boy, the boy is in front of the girl. Over here, we have two people that are standing beside each other, beside. Here, we have two people in a house. This person, looking through the window, waving at us, is inside the house. This person is outside the house. And the child, David, is between the parents. All right? So hopefully, that gives you a better understanding of the spatial location of some of these English words. And I hope you enjoyed this one. For more videos, please check out angvit.com, and I'll see you later. Take care.